Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo. Dot com, and this is the raw edit of the week 47. And it's my turn to edit this file, followed by Adam, followed by us putting them together and seeing what we came up with. So this is a photo of me that Adam took while we were in New York City filming uh, in the park, which was cool, taken at one four thousandth of a second at f 1.4 ISO 400. 50 millimeter 1.4 um yeah probably could shoot that at 200 and then well it doesn't really matter he was going for a really blown out background and you can see that it's it's tight right on me um and the background just starts to blow away look at the hair just blowing away not because it's windy or anything but it's blown away so let's get to editing and see what i would do i haven't looked at too many people's edits or even what adam has done yet uh but i i want to take it to where i think I would like it. And obviously, Phil Flash in the face would have been nice, which I'm learning, starting to learn. Uh, taking that next step. Just getting a feel for where I want to take this. I like the yellow. Going to pull back. Don't want too much magenta. Boom. Boom. A little bit of that. I mean, I like this. I like this. I mean, it was a pretty simple couple of tweaks that I made here. And when I say fill light, I'm going to actually learn the actual fill light using a strobe and a flash and uh, off-camera stuff. I'm taking that next step because it's something that I need to add to my repertoire and be more comfortable doing off-camera flash with... Uh, manual settings and things like that. I've done studio lights. I have my own studio setup. I've done three light setups in the studio. That's all good, but now I've got an even... Uh, I want to take it to the next step just because I want to feel more confident and comfortable with it. I know it's not that hard. It's just angles and numbers, and I can. And I know I'm going to pick it up pretty quick when I do it. Um, you know what? I like this. Let's see if, if we get a black and white. We'll just call this one creating a snapshot I press the plus button this means instead of creating a virtual copy which literally copies the raw file and instead of 25 megs I now have a second 25 meg I'm taking up 50 megs of space instead of just making a snapshot that saves the changes that you made and lets you jump back from one to the other uh, so let me just hit the black and white button and see what we come up with here maybe I'll run it through silver effects pro 2 I really haven't used that too much So I'm not too familiar with their software because I haven't really done that too much. Let's see. Export. Where's the open with? Edit in. Silver Effects Pro 2. Edit. And it should take a couple seconds to load up. I, this black and white's looking pretty good. I just want it to go pump. I want it to pump a little more. That is my goal with this to see when we open Silver Effects Pro 2 to see what happens here. Um, no, I don't want to update that right now because nobody wants to sit here and watch me do that. Let's see what kind of presets there are here. All of them are painful. All of them are painful. All of them are painful. These are painful. Whoa. Th what is this? Structure. Wow. Wow, that did something. It's too much contrast. Can you believe me saying that? I'm just going to go with this. This structure button was insane. All right. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to save it. And that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. We've got a color. We've got a black and white. And I'm waiting for it to load because it's saving the image. And coming up next, we're going to see what Adam was able to do, and we will put all of the images together. So, Adam, you are up. Adam Lerner, and welcome to this week's Raw Edit number 48, I believe. 
And this week we have a shot of the fro, a portrait that I shot of the fro. Uh, we got together uh, maybe a month or two ago in New York City. Uh, we made some videos in the park and we did some five minute portraits of each other. And this was one of the portraits I shot of Jared. Uh, I was shooting with my D700 with a 50 millimeter F14. This was shot one four thousandth of a second at ISO 400. So let's get into this edit. Um, I particularly love the way that the background is completely blown out and kind of almost grainy looking. Um, I want to do some stuff to kind of have him even pop a little bit more on the background. You can see how selected the focus with that 1.4 is at 1.4 and that really just this is all that's in focus here. You know his, his right hand his right arm is completely blown out the bench is blown out so we're really just going to get this area to pop and that's going to be my my first objective i'm probably going to do a color edit maybe a black and white so let's um just check the exposure i'm not going to touch that i'm going to bring up the uh, fill light just a little bit over here and blacks i'm just going to bring in some blacks and you know when i have the option key held down that I'm only doing that so that I can really look for overexposed or underexposed areas. Okay, so I want to just add a little bit more contrast to this as well. And let's just see how far we want to take it. Let's bring it to about there. And then some clarity. Yeah, let's bring that up right to there. All right, um, sharpening. Okay, so let's grab an eye and we will just bring that up to about there until we really see it happening. And I'm going to mask it off with the option key so that we sharpen edges and not textures. And we're going to do something like that. Um, I still want to just open this up a little bit. I think it might need just a little bit of warmth maybe. No, we'll just add a little bit of temperature to it. And we'll bring it up to there. And I'm going to just duck the saturation down. Okay. Just kind of like give it more of a vintage vibe. Maybe just somewhere like that. Just bring the vibrance down just a hair. Not too much. Just going to compensate with the white, the temperature a little bit more over here because it was too much. Let's look at the before. Let's look at the after. I'm kind of liking where that's headed right about now. Um, let's just see. I want to just bring a little bit more fill light into there. And, uh, you know, maybe what we could do is we could do some split toning. So let's see. We'll do some yellows for the highlights. And we'll do some blues for the shadows. And already that has kind of like a cool vintagey vibe. Um, let's see what we do with the saturation here. Okay, we'll bring that down to about there. And we'll do the same thing with the blues here. And we'll bring something to about there. And let's just check out the balance, you know. And this is really just by feel. You know, this is just a matter of kind of deciding how far you want to go with this. You know, do you really want to go crazy? Do you want to really just, you know, take it light? It really just depends. Um, all right, so I think we're going to probably leave that about there and maybe just add a little bit of vignetting. Just a hair, just something like that. And, you know, it's it's got a little bit of a, an orange cast or yellowy cast. I'm just going to, obviously that was from split toning, but I'm just going to bring the color temperature down just a little bit further. And I'm just going to de desaturate and de-vibrant this a little bit. Just keep playing with this a little bit until I am satisfied where it is. I might want to add a little more fill just to get a little more of that fro action going over there. Okay, that's not too shabby. And we'll go into the HSL and I want to get these greens to do something. Now we can really brighten them up or we can really darken them down. I think I want to brighten them up a little bit. So I'm just adding some luminance to them and we'll go into the saturation. And let's see, that's kind of crazy. We'll bring that down, that's too little. So let's do something like that. All right, so still kind of not 100% sold on the skin tones over here. Um, so let me just have a little bit of a play with that. I'm just going to add a little bit more saturation over there. And I think that, you know what, um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to look at the before, look at the after. Still a little green to me. Let's see if we add a little bit of, a little bit of tint. Too much, too much somewhere around there and I'm going to just hold off and leave that like that. So that's going to be my snapshot number two and I say that number two because I had previously done an edit that was this. 
and I wanted to do a new edit today, which is this. Okay, and I also was thinking, you know, this could be very cool in black and white. So I'm just going to keep the settings that I have now, hit the V key. Boom, I'm going to go black and white. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to uh, adjust the split toning here. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm actually going to take the, uh, let's see, let's just take that out of there altogether. And we'll just work on the shadows here. And let's see. Um, something like that, maybe something a little bit silvery, you know, speaking of silvery, um, let's actually go into silver effects pro. Okay. So let's just, let's just see how that looks. So we're going to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments and we'll just keep all of the settings that we have here, but we're going to go into silver effects pro and just see if we can really kind of bring in a little bit more of the kind of vintage vibe on this shot right here. Um, I'm just looking at some of the previewed settings over here. High structure, push process is not too bad. Um, some of these are a little bit crazy. High contrast green, full spectrum. That's a little flat, a little silvery, not too bad. Soft sepia, you know, let me just see what we want to do here. There was one that I kind of liked. I think that was the high structure over here. And, um, let's see, let's bring a little bit more brightness, something like there. And um, what are we going to do here? Film types. Let's just see what that does for us. Okay. Do we want to use... Oh, I guess we could have some previews over here. Um, uh, 400 Tmax. That's really interesting. It's a little bit too much for me. So we're just going to leave that alone. Tone curve. I'm not going to touch that. Sensitivity. I'm just going to leave that over there. Let's see what's going on in stylizing. Um, toning. Yep, that's largely what we did before. Um, and I'm just going to turn the preview off just to see what it does. And it really, you know, does some cool stuff here. I'm just going to take the contrast down just a, a touch. Maybe bring it down to there. Add a little bit more brightness to it. A little bit more somewhere around there. And structure. That's an interesting uh, concept, what this structure does. You know, you can really see as you do it, really takes more of a shape. And if we look at the before and after, you can really see there's a lot of cool stuff going on. In this toning, um, I'm gonna try to do something like maybe the selenium over here and just see how that looks. And we'll just leave that over there. And uh, let's see, almost done, almost done. Uh, let's add a little bit more of a vignette, why not? All right, so we'll just add a little bit over here. Actually, we'll go down like to about there. And we're going to leave that right about there. So let us save this. And it's going to save and write a copy to Lightroom. Mm -hmm. So we should have a before and after. So I'm going to go in. Okay, so this is our edited black and white. This is our edited color. I'm going to bring the film strip up over here. And I'm just going to bring these two together. And I'm going to survey them by hitting the N key. So that way we can see the two different edits that we have. So we've got the color and we've got the black and white. And um, I'm pretty happy with both of them. I feel like the color has a little bit of kind of a vintagey vibe to it. And I think the black and white does as well. Um, you know, if we look at the, uh, let's see, if we just look at the, well, let me just get back into survey mode. You know what? I'm going to leave that like that because I've taken up enough time and I'm going to go and sign on, sign off so that we can see what Jared's got. Yeah, wait a second. I don't need to do an intro, Adam. We're back. How are you? Nice light, by the way, on you in your room. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's coming in through uh, those enormous windows that I have here. So we've got Raw Edit 47. Your two are on the left, my two are on the right. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking, uh, let's see. Your two are on the right? <clears throat> uh-huh. <sighs> I guess Very the photographer's nice. edit's on the left. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Um, I like yours quite a bit, actually. Can you? Yours are really nice and thick I... and um, really nice and saturated, and mine are just desaturated comparatively. Yeah. I use silver effects, too. I was going to ask you about that. I thought that that was a silver Dude, effects kind it, of. You know what look. sucks about that? Well, look what it did to the shirt. 
Well, you know what? Well, I, I still haven't learned how to fully use it. I just played with it. <laughs> but look what it you did to my just... face. What's that? Look, I used some slider in there called like... Uh, Handsome Devil? N yes, the Handsomizer. And look what it Handsome. did. I forget what it's called. It's Man, whatever it did, it went it went like paplow. Look what it did. It made it all like sharp and dreamy. It's so dreamy. Fantastic. It's like Justin Bieber. <laughs> I like it. I like your color one. Your black and white seems a little too muted for me, but the colors got pulled, you know, the color one's pulled back. And now looking at my color next to your color next to my black and white, my yeah. color is like oversaturated and and just blown out. Um, well, you know, the thing is, is that I, my original color edit um, was very saturated and I, I wanted to go for something a little bit kind of desaturated. And um, I just want to do something different, you know, just for the purpose of the video. I didn't want to just be like, oh, well, here's the edit I did originally. Sure. And here's again. And, um, and I put a, some toning on the black and white that kind of gave it a bluish hue. Oh. And looking at your black and white, I your black and white is just it, man. That is awesome. I, I got so but, thick. But you know what's so annoying? What? Uh, uh. I don't want to sit here and have to do that to every single photo that I take that I want in black and white. Well, there's give and take. I mean, again, the the, the it, it it corrected or fixed some things, and other things look a little bit weird. Like just you know, the W in the I shoot raw shirt, or the T and the W look a little bit like fuzzed out. That's all right, and I'm okay with that. I can live with it. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just interesting. It's just so weird. I mean, what an, I, and I didn't use any of the presets. I just went in there and I uh, moved a few of the sliders. This one that I don't even remember what it's called. Stop getting so technical. With yeah, me. well, I don't remember what it's called, but it went boom. I mean, I think this it took the picture to the next level. Sure. Of sharpness. I'm waiting for yours to show. Yeah, next level of sharpness. Like boom. So that's cool. Well, I like it. And uh, yeah, it did a really good job with with sharpening um, the details in your face. Yeah, I, I don't remember what the slider's called. I'm gonna have to go back to my video and check it out. Right. But hey, that's uh, pretty much it, though. I mean, there's not much else to say. Uh, <laughs> a lot of edits this week from everybody else came in. Did you get a chance to look at them yet? There's some amazing stuff that's been on the forum. I mean, I I try not to look too much at the forum until I've done my edits. Would um, you I, like to go ahead this week and pick like t the the ones you like out of there and make a video about what you like? Yeah, or, sure. And pick yeah, out your favorites, being that you, you know, you did and, it. And, and and favorites really are going to be not necessarily just like you know, are they my favorite because you know I think that they're you know like my style. It's going to be because I think that there's some really cool stuff going yeah, on. Yeah. What the the thing that I go by and I tell people is that. Um, if it's unique and it pops and it stands out and it does something different than every like then I then I may pull it opposed to some that look the same now there's nothing wrong with them looking the same because right. that's how you chose to edit it but sometimes there's those ones like my black and white I, I I'm gonna say that's, that that's you know there's nice. weeks I go here and I go wow I don't like it but here just the way that thing pops it, yeah no it pops silver pops effects really. i don't know what it did i really don't i don't know the program i have not studied it i have not read anything about it i just went in there and i tweaked and i got it and i'm sure it wouldn't work every time but that one i would call out definitely and you know and, and you're just looking at this photo i would have liked to have had like a little bit of a bounce card on your face i i mentioned the fill flash thing in my video yeah, Phil Flash, well, yeah, of course, Phil Flash would have been great, but even just something just to kind of give some more light into your eyes. Um, but, you know, we we didn't really play with any of that stuff when we were doing this. We just kind of just shot natural, and we were kind of under those trees, so. Yeah, I like your color now more and more that I look at it. Well, it, you know, the difference is that it's a little bit more subtle, and you see more of a balanced look on your face. Um, yours is more, um, I think it's more contrasty. Yes. You know, so so you th the there's more kind of like highlight on your skin. Um like mine's a little yours is I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean look at look at the bench bit. in yours. The bench really looks good. I love the color of the bench in mine. Yeah, it really has a nice feel and that's what again is great about these raw files and being able to tweak them and 
and, and continuing to do this week after week and, and getting you guys out there and seeing what you guys are doing and your screen flows. It's really cool each week to see it. And I know I say it a lot, but whatever. I like seeing it, and I'll keep saying it because you guys are doing a great job. So Yeah, it's it's just awesome to see how people have just stepped up their game and just really, do, you know, they dove in and, and doing some great, great work. Um, so I'm stoked to see that too. Yep, cool. Adam, and I have nice. to say, man, just looking at these, that black and white's the winner, even though it's not a contest. No, it's that, not. That's my pick. But you know what's funny? Week, you know, uh, uh, many weeks in a row we do this. It's hard to choose between them. Or, you know, I may like your the feel of one of yours more than the feel of mine. But yeah, I mean, there's something about that edit oh, that just fantastic. It's just weird. I mean, it's just weird that it got there. So you, we'll watch back and see what I did. But it was just really one. I think with Silver Effects, I mean, I edited first in Lightroom and then took it into Silver Effects. Is that what you're supposed to do? Well, you can. I mean, you can take the Lightroom adjustments and then you know go from there so it must have been possibly this could be one of those lucky ones that that did it but what whatever you whatever so you that's it adam for we're all I, over that blah 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 editor of the week 47 not 48 48 will be next week maybe i'll pick one of my files next time or dive back into the folder where you guys keep sending them into frono's photo at gmail.com that's where you send the raw files with your high-res jpeg so we can put it next to adam and my edit um but that's it thanks drobo again for sponsoring and uh storing all of our terabytes of data i know adam is due for a new one because yeah you're i know your backup just got done doing uh backing up and you need more I, space i think i'm four plus terabytes right now and that's mostly photos. And I and I think I'm around there too. And with video, I've got like a couple. Oh yeah, I forgot video. Forget about it. Now that we do that, so, all right, we will see you next week. Stay tuned for Adam's video some point where he's picking uh, interesting photos from your edits, and that will be it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.